Hey guys, Chris here, South Florida Boat Center. Today we're gonna go over this brand new refit we just finished. This is an older boat, it's a 2002 31 Yellowfin. The customer brought it in to give it a full facelift and update. So we're just gonna go through some of the things we did. We pretty much gutted this boat from bow to stern all the way down to just fiberglass and gel coat. We even did transom work. He had some structural failures in the transom with the factory stringers in the back. So we went through and redid the whole back splash well, raised the splash well up, made it a Verado style splash well. So for this boat, the customer is a real heavy fisherman, doesn't need anything crazy with the audio. So he went with a nice, simple JL audio system. Sounds great, it's everything he needs. So for upholstery on the boat, we brought the customer up to the new 2020 standards, what everybody's getting in their new boats, diamond stitching, nice flat panels, no more of the, the pleats from the early 2000s and 90s. The upholstery is a real nice, easy way to bring the boat up to current standards to make them look brand new. We did everything in-house here. Upholstery came out beautiful, nice simple design, diamond stitching with double diamonds in there, color matched accents as well. So for the console, we pulled the entire console out of the boat. We got rid of the original pocket with the garage door style acrylic in there, updated it with all new electronics, filled all the old holes, got rid of the old C-Zone system, went with custom switch panel here with Boca Tex in it, filled everything, all the old screw holes painted it looks brand new console back and installed in the boat so on this boat also we went and rewired the entire boat from bow to stern now when we do the wiring we're fishermen we're out there on the water we know what fails we see what fails so we try and take care of that and make sure that that's never going to be a situation the customers are in we label everything because sometimes failures are are inevitable and it's going to be nice for the customers to be able to figure out exactly what the problem is, where the wire is, trace it, and know the label is the same color in the front as the back bilge. Everything's uniform all the way through. We keep those wires really clean, really tight, and we pride ourselves on making sure that everything looks good in the end. So it's nice, clean work, very functional, nothing over the top crazy, but everything you need. And sometimes even we like to go a little bigger on wire gauges, bigger than what you need. That gives you a little room for corrosion over the years. I don't want to build a boat that the customer is gonna take out and it's gonna work great for five years. I want it to work great for as long as he owns it and as long as the next owner owns it. You know, building these boats, finding what may have been an inadequacy from the factory and even going above and beyond to make sure that never happens again. So we went with LeBrock chairs in here, always the best for the captain's helm chairs. You can't go wrong with, with these chairs. We put them on towel bars as well. So that way you can slide forward you can still sit and drive, or you can lean it back when it's rougher out and you're not running as far. Very functional, fold down seats. I mean, you just can't go wrong with these chairs. So moving back here to the cockpit, this customer is a heavy king fisherman, so live bait's essential. So we went really overboard on the bait system. He wanted to know if we could add a third live well to this boat. It's only a 31, but uh, we were able to get him a live well. We added a 40 gallon live well to the transom. We actually removed the transom door from the factory that used to be here. We added this round live well. We kind of teardropped it into the transom and we did all of that when we incorporated in our, our new splash well system when we redid the stringers and everything in the back of the boat. This is a more difficult build than usual. You know, we do a lot of uh, 39, 36, 42 uh, style center consoles with these hooker electric pump boxes and setups. So by the time you get the high speed pickups in here, dual bilge pumps, the sea chest in there, your fuel filters, your electronics box, it gets tight quick. So this was more crammed of a build than we're used to, but we made it all fit in here. It's functional, it works great. All the valves for all three live wells are here. You got two pumps. One of those hooker pumps can take all three of these live wells if you needed to. So it's a nice redundant system there. If you ever have a breakdown, at least you got a backup or you run them both at half throttle the whole time. Um, really clean, simple. All the solenoids, all the electronics we put inside these watertight boxes, that's gonna be great for longevity. You open up that box, everything inside there is labeled. You know exactly what it goes to, what it belongs to, and it's the same color in the front it is back here. That's just to make sure that no matter what happens, we're mechanics at the end of the day. We look out for the next guy in line no matter what. Whether that's us or somebody else, the end user needs to be able to fix stuff because eventually it will break. So talking about the tower here, guys, we did a 40 gallon live well here in the, in the seat. We also have a, the original factory 50 in the floor. We just modified it to be a pressurized live well. It used to be an overflow style. Pressurized tends to knock the bait around a lot less. So they work, they're a lot more functional. So moving forward here, we went with a full custom tower from top to bottom, everything here. Custom T-top, integrated lighting all in the T-top. It's a folding tower. The customer likes to trailer the boat as well, bring it to the Keys sometimes. The, they fish over in Tampa, so they need to be able to trailer the boat. 
So nice and easy to fold. Two guys can fold this no problem. Custom upholstery matching in the tower, matches throughout the whole boat. Just a really clean, beautiful setup. So on the second station, this boat actually came from the factory with a stand through Cobia style tower. It was a soft top boat, just dated looking, uh, regular brushed aluminum look. So we went and upgraded everything from top to bottom, full custom bent pipes all the way to the top, hard top. The customers wanted to get a better vantage point when they're out there fishing, so that's why they went with the folding Marlin Tower. So this is an older boat, it's a 2002, and one of the things is the customer just wanted it fully updated, wanted it to look like it just came off the showroom floor. Some of the things I get worn out on the older boats over time, definitely the non-skid. Non-skid's always a trouble area, you can't really compound it, can't really wax it well, it always fades faster than, than everything that you can take care of. So we went through and re-non-skidded this entire boat, made it look brand new, brought it up to date. Can't tell between the difference between this and a boat fresh off the showroom floor. Overall, the customer brought us this boat, older boat. He wanted it brought up to the new standards. We do a ton of yellow fins here. We know what fails in them. We know what's good, what we don't need to touch. We know the resale value. We sell a lot of these on the used side. We buy a lot of them for our customers on the used side. We do these retrofits often, so we're really, specialized. I have a yellow fin myself. We know everything about them inside and out. And we know at the end of the day, the customer comes in, he has his wish list. We go through the wish list with him. We let him know, guide him along the way, you know, what's going to help him as far as functionality, what's going to help him for the resale value in the future. These boats at the end of the day have some of the best resale values over the years. The, even the older ones, they still hold their value. So it's a great boat to redo how you want it. And if you outgrow the boat, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get your money out of it. This is a great way to actually not have to buy brand new, get everything you would want on a brand new boat, come in a lot under budget sometimes. And you know we can always work with whatever budget somebody has. If it's a, I don't have a budget, this is what I want, no problem, we can build it. Or I have a budget, what can you do with inside it? So this is what we do, the yellow fins, the full refits, any brand, you know, don't be afraid to uh, give us a shout. We can go through anything, we work on any budget, Big or small, doesn't matter. Every single thing from bow to stern, it doesn't matter if it's attached to a boat, we work on it, we fix it, we customize it, we make it better, that's what we do. Give us a call, shoot us a line, drop us a DM, follow along, we're gonna try and keep doing more of these YouTube videos here to show what you can do to some of your older boats without having to go break the bank and buy a second home worth of boat.